Sudden and deadly building collapse in downtown Philadelphia. The death toll now at six. Rescue crews have been searching through the rubble for survivors for almost 24 hours now. And ABC's Ron Claiborne has the latest from the scene there in Philadelphia. Good morning, Ron. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. And take a look at that tangled mess there behind me. All those tons of debris and rubble. It's really hard to believe that anybody could be alive underneath all of that. Uh, and that's not what uh, rescue workers were finding. They were looking in there, did not find anybody alive for many hours. And then just before midnight came the stunning announcement. There was a survivor. Just before midnight, with hope to find someone still alive, all but extinguished, it happened. This video, obtained exclusively by GMA, shows 61-year-old Myra Pleakum being pulled from the heap of rubble. She is in critical condition. At the scene, the joy of the discovery of the survivor. It feels uh, outstanding to be able to pull somebody alive. That just minutes after Philadelphia's mayor had delivered the grim news. We will now confirm that there are six people who died. One man and five women. Building just collapsed. This dramatic video, taken by a construction worker across the street, shows the moment the building came crashing down. The people in the building, you can hear hollering for help. We ran right around the corner. We saw a couple people, so we started digging and pulling people out. Demolition teams had been taking down the remains of the four-story building with a huge backhoe when something went horribly wrong. The building tumbling down onto the next-door Salvation Army thrift shop with workers and shoppers inside. This morning, nearly 24 hours later, the search and rescue operation continues for those who survived and for those who did not. It's a very tedious operation. They're taking their time. It's a dangerous environment for our members. We went in and said, could you hear us? Can you hear us? And then we heard, oh, there's someone over here. And then we pulled the rubble off of them, and then we went in and tried to help. The building collapsed so vividly depicted by two photos, this one taken just before and this photo taken just after. And the search and rescue effort will continue, officials say, until every inch of that rubble is checked. That could take, George, many more hours.